Adira just walked out the whatever show. Um, why did you walk out? Um, I walked out because the host of that show seems to only care about degrading the guest on it. Um, talking about their physical beauty, talking about why it's important, um, making the guests feel insecure, sitting there, making us go around rating ourselves on a scale of one to 10 when we're supposed to be talking about dating and relationships. And we were giving a, que a whole list of questions to prepare for. I wasn't prepared of to rate myself on a scale of one to 10, S sitting there being degraded constantly over and over again and, let and letting it happen. I seem like I'm okay with that because I'm fucking not. There are people out here dying in this world and everyone's worried about the, uh, their beauty on a scale from fucking one to 10. I'm sorry, fuck you whatever podcast. Stifler here asking everyone at the table to rate their looks on a scale of one to 10. Uh, I mean, I normally don't even do something like this, to be honest, because uh, I don't believe in it. But I mean, I'm gonna fucking ride hard for myself and I'm gonna say I'm a 10 out of a 10 and I don't oh, care yeah. who the fuck has to say anything on this shit. You're you guys good. can call me ugly all you, you want, support. but yeah. fuck you motherfuckers. Like, sorry, I said the F word a lot, but it's okay. Yeah. Word. I'm gonna give myself a nine. I don't think I'm perfect, but I do like to look at myself in the mirror. So it's a nine <laughs> for me. Does anyone want to revise their answers uh, without makeup? Because maybe we didn't specify that. I think without makeup, I'm actually a 15. Period. So, uh -oh. sorry. Yeah, I, I think makeup makes me look worse, so. If yeah. anybody wants to revise their answer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, I like this whole question. I have some makeup remover. This, this question actually really bothers me. Like, it's it's really sad for me to watch everyone sit here and like rate themselves on a scale of one to ten and judge their looks like that. I'm like, I wish all of you guys answered higher. I think all of you guys are very beautiful, and like, I think this whole debate is really odd in the first place. Um, sorry to be disrespectful, but do you, so do you think everybody should rate themselves? I don't as think a 10? we should be rating our looks at all. I think that the world is literally falling apart and we should be focused on bigger things besides <laughs> physical beauty we did just I rate agree. margot robbie i, like margot robbie. I get that i get that, <laughs> like I get that. i'm just here to say like that's my Preach. input like Preach. there's more to worry about than what people look like physically mm -hmm. sorry um, well but absolutely. couldn't you say that you you can say that about anything yeah well we can. should we shouldn't worry about this particular minor issue even though some people care about it because there are starving children in africa yeah. We ought to, like, I, I don't know if that's, I don't know, there's a specific term for that. I think it's, there's a, there's a fallacy, I forgot what it is, but appeal to a greater dilemma. I don't know, in any case, <laughs> but do you think everybody should consider themselves a 10? I personally think that everyone should have the confidence in themselves as a 10, yes, because if we were confident in our own image, we would have more brain room to focus on other things like developing skills, developing hobbies, maybe finding a healthy relationship, you know, um, having a healthier mental state of life. So I think focusing on your rating and judging yourself on that is irrelevant. And yeah, you should be a 10. You should just be confident in yourself. Sure. Like, okay. So there's a couple things there. You think that we should be less preoccupied with our physical appearance? Yeah. I, yeah. So okay. why not give yourself a 10? Like what, what, what justice does it do to rate yourself as a two, to live your life being like, I'm an ugly two, no one likes me. What, what good does that bring to yourself? Well, I mean, if, if it happens to be the case that, for example, let's say you actually are a two, or this hypothetical person is a two, uh, and you have a f accurate self-assessment of your own physical attractiveness, and you own it, couldn't you argue that it's actually more confident, let's say you're five, let's say you're totally average, you're not particularly remarkable in any regard, and you think you're a 10. Um, don't you think it'd be more confident to just be like, yeah, I'm a five? No, I think it's the most confident to show that you think you're the best you are. And I've met many people that by beauty standards, if we're using like Marco Robbie's standards, are ones or even less, but just their confidence and their personality made me think that they were fucking the hottest guy I've ever met. So I think if you have the confidence in yourself that you are a 10, that you will attract people to your confidence. And if you sit there self-assessing, being like, 
oh, I'm a seven, I'm a six. No, I think that's just a waste of your time and bringing yourself down and stopping you from succeeding and getting further, you know? Well, is this scale based off of like solely attractiveness or is it also like about physical. what's inside? Just physical. It's right. like just looks. Because like if it's physical, then like I think that the point that you're saying is like kind of false just because like confidence comes from within. It has nothing to do with your appearance. Well, that's what I'm saying. And if you believe within you are a 10, then confidence shines. And I mean, like confidence, confidence is shown in appearance. You want every one of you could look the same way. And if you're walking insecure, you're going to look uglier. If you are walking that's loud and proud, you're going to look like a fucking superstar. But I Guarantee. Don't, fact. Uh, like, I don't think that everyone that like rates himself, let's say a five, though, is insecure. Like, yeah. what did I rate? my? I, I rated myself an eight, but I confidently rated myself an eight. I think like on the other side of what you're saying, like I completely get what you're saying. But on the other side of it, it's like I'm confident that I'm an eight. But, like, I also know that I can improve on, like, some things here and there, which is why I'm not, like, a confident well, 10. Well, what standards, though? Like, yeah. what standards do you want to improve well, on? Because, okay. like, you look like a 10 to me. Yeah. I think you're beautiful. Thank you. Like, what oh. standards are you putting yourself to? Is it, like, westernized beauty? Like, what, where are your, where do you think your flaws are that you're giving yourself a Just lower like number than a 10? Just, like, the golden ratio, like, the the staple of like, what who beauty actually that? is. <laughs> and that's my point, is, like, you're over here being, like, I could be better but if you just thought you were the best, you wouldn't even worry about that. You could be yeah. worrying about how you could be better in your other life set skills, not just your beauty, you know? Like, yeah. it's just, you shouldn't, you are a 10. Thank you. Like, you really are. Like, there's nothing you can improve about yourself, yeah. except for your confidence. Like, like, everyone has, like, a little bit of insecurities, you yeah. know, but... Um, oh, I do, too, but I'm yeah. still going to stand here and, like, fight for myself, you know, and be like, I'm a 10 out of 10 because... That's what I believe everyone should do. Also, I feel like there's like an, ob you can obviously tell if there's like an unattractive person and an attractive person. And I think everyone should definitely be confident. But if you're telling that like unattractive person that they're a 10, like, like, they're, like you're like so bad, like, and they're walking around thinking that, then like, I feel like they could like, people could like totally like take they advantage of them. They could just be and, like, like overly confident. Yeah, and they could and learn some like, they could get humbled and like, yeah. That's a that's a good point. It, it was making me think of this quote. It's like you can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences that come with ignoring reality. So if let's say a girl next to me, she's I don't know, truthfully isn't very attractive, but everyone tells her, yep, girl, you're a 10 out of 10. Don't ever settle for anything less, whatever. She she might start going after certain guys, whatever, who aren't within her uh, league or her whatever and she's going to constantly get heartbroken why is this guy doesn't want to talk to me why does this guy keep cheating on me why does this guy keep doing this and same with guys if it's like if I'm a guy and I think that I'm the second coming of Jesus Christ and every girl I deserve a supermodel I deserve an A-list whatever and I keep going after supermodels and keep going after girls that aren't in my playing realm I'm going to constantly get heartbroken I'm doing myself a disservice mm -hmm. because I'm not actually playing within my roles because you can be confident and be an average looking person. That's yeah. what I think. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not a 10 at all, but I'm pretty confident with myself and that doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. So I, I think that by telling someone something that's not accurate, you're doing them more of a disservice. Like you're, you're putting a bandaid on like their feelings for the moment and be like, yeah, but you're a 10, Everyone's, everything's all good. But then in, when they go out in the world, they're not gonna get treated like a 10 necessarily. Like, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I disagree because you're also like saying that as if everyone with the confidence has expectations that they deserve something. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I even, Bella Donna used to be married to one of my good friends who by society standards would who probably be- Who the fuck be, is that guy? Who is Bella Donna? Bella Donna was one of the most famous porn stars in the world. Oh. Um, Do you not jerk She's it? probably more famous than you, no I offense, don't. but- and I she's I'm not, yeah I'm definitely really for there. sure <laughs> like she she out her cool. google search i'm just saying she's way more she's really famous and his confidence and is she she is i mean i don't give a fuck if ryan, she is no, answer like, that for us yeah ryan, ryan do you know the answer to that is she famous uh, you know a lot of porn stars <laughs> I need There's to look at porn. On. Let's do a Google Trends search. Let's compare. Uh, I've Bella never, Donna. I've never heard of that name. Bella, I've never, yeah, I've never heard of it. I'll, I'll send it to you. <laughs> okay. Nick. okay. Let's, I'll send it to you. Let's, I'll let's do it. Let's do it. I kind of want to just bounce, to be honest. Um, oh. so, Seriously? Yeah. 
know. Because we're that. just uh, you're that triggered over no, this conversation. I, I, it's uh, I didn't do enough research on the podcast. Because we're talking about because no, I don't know who Bella Donna uh, is. No, it's not that. It's um, everything. It's just because we're talking I about rating. To talk about people's attractiveness. To be honest. Fair enough. Okay, well that's my ride. So no, you know, wow. you can stay. I, I, I'll go sit in my car. It's a, no, no, no. It's no, okay. Self Castle. <laughs> if you need a ride back, I, I don't mind driving yeah. you too. I'm going back to LA too. Yeah. We're all gonna just drive together. So y'all got personally, personally for like the whole like we scale didn't even get thing, started. I don't think it's that deep. It's just like I no, yeah, it's well, just like when you scale one to ten. Remember when when we were in like middle school and be like rate my rate, rate let's rate yeah. each other. Yeah, you know, you like we didn't think it was that deep until now where people started making it that deep. Dude, oh, yeah, I feel I like we bathroom. didn't we didn't even get started. Yeah, there, nothing <laughs> bad was even started. No, but like it's just cranking up. And she was I don't know how old she was exactly. What she say? Thirty? She, um, she's like thirty. She said she's, she's they both twenty eight. She's twenty eight. You're like even if you disagree with someone, it's all good. Like uh, I know. Yeah. That's a weak but, constitution. She was talking about being confident. I mean, she crumbled real quick. <laughs> yeah, you know? that's, yeah. facts. that's facts. And go go ahead and say it. Just she said she she said she was like gonna tear you up she's like she's like, i can't ready to like voice my opinion and oh she did like downstairs yeah she's like, like I, she's like i just can't she's like they're like excited to like talk and like voice their opinion and like defend themselves and then they just did don't <laughs> come on the dating cop pop podcast if you don't want to talk about like, things that are about about dating yes like, yeah, yeah it's because like you start dating you immediately start rating the person that you're sitting across from also, i mean like, like whether you want to admit it or not like we all make sort of value calls and judgments about people who we're potentially gonna date, whether that comes down to their physical appearance, whether that comes down to their personality, like, and we can all agree, like some people are more attractive yeah. than, others, than others, you know, so. Wait, quick I'll, question, uh, yeah. have you had people walk out like that before? Um, yes. I think we've <laughs> not, yes. I don't think we've had anyone fold that off of like a fairly <laughs> milk toast conversation I, I about like one. talking about 